No, this is not my crack cocaine, Carl. It's a nano gel, and it's not actually a nanite. For people who are worried, it's just this. Uh, it's kind of just a name. It's a very small particle, but not as small as a as a nano. And it's this is different than some of the other products that we've looked at, which are kind of whole package products. Right. This, this is, is a technology that integrates with other stuff. Right. That, so nano gel is is a translucent insulation yep. that we put in skylights that basically make the skylights as insulative as a wall. And like this is more of a commercial product, but somebody could use it. This is cow wall. It's actually a neat product. I've seen this but, before. But it's pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, nanogel makes the filler that goes in here that makes this as insulative as a wall and about only cuts about 30 percent of the of, this, mean, of the light out of it. R20. That's R20 pretty amazing. Pretty darn good. Yeah. And these skylights. I mean, I was looking at this. There's like a 16 degree temperature difference yeah. between this one and this one. Yeah. The regular skylight's at 93 degrees. The skylight with the nanogel in it's at 77 degrees. 30 percent loss in visible light transmission. It doesn't give you clear windows, but it gives you a lot of light and an amazing man insulation. I, I, you know, architects, are, they're obsessed with big right. walls of glazing and glazing. I've always thought it's weird that you can look into people's houses and see what they're doing. Right. It's kind of the best of both worlds. They can have energy efficient, lots of glazing, get all that natural light in, right. and a little privacy at the same time. And I'm looking forward to seeing where else they go. I mean, I think it's going to be really neat stuff in the next couple of years. I, I have to agree with you. Yeah. I'm going to give this product, I'm going to have to give this product an A, because I think it's so flexible and it does such a great job of doing what it's doing. Yeah, it's definitely an A, and when they start expanding into more lines, it's going to be an A plus or an A plus plus when they get there. Awesome. Green products, green products. Wait a second. Car Car Carl, what what are you doing, Carl? It's not warm enough. I'm working on my tan, you know, get a little heat, you know. It's like, because this side is regular glass and it's getting real hot. And this side's really cool because it's a super insulated glass from South Pole Technologies. How, wait, how, they look like the same window. They're like the same thickness. How's this working? Look over here. It's this, it's this stuff called heat mirror. They have these thin layers mm -hmm. of plastic that actually reflect heat. It's like a low emissivity plastic in between that makes this incredibly high R value. You know, I gotta say, this is like the lightest triple pane window I've ever held. Well, because it's not all glass, but this is That's this a stuff smart has smart way to do it. Yeah, like this stuff has U values down as low as like 0.15. 0.15. Carl, that's that's like an R value of 7.5. Pretty amazing for glass, isn't that it? That is amazing for glass. I and mean, they're roughly the same. They we, don't weigh a whole lot more. We have walls in Atlanta that aren't insulated that well. This seems like an awesome technology. I think it's pretty cool. Yeah, it, it, it's out, it's it's out there. We don't, we don't see a lot of it, but a, a couple of a couple of manufacturers are starting to put them in their windows. I'm going to have to give this an A. Yeah. Because I think this is exactly what we need in our windows. I'll agree with you. It's an A, but it doesn't mean it doesn't mean much where I am. But I think we're there. It's a good product. All right. Uh, Michael, why are you hanging around with these cartoon characters and what the hell are you doing? Carl, I had this client send me a set of plans for editing and you know, you know me, I, I, I'm a workaholic and yeah. I have this awesome piece of software and it's, it's, you know, this is one of the things that I think so many people miss is great PDF editing. I know it doesn't yeah, sound that exciting. I, I, I have to print them, mark them up, scan them and email them to people. Yeah, who has a plotter anymore, right? Right. Bluebeam is this great product. It's inexpensive. It's like $150, and it does everything that like an Adobe Pro style thing would do. You can edit, you can mark up. I can put text right into my PDFs. Mm -hmm. I can send this to other people in my work group. They can send it to me when I'm out at conferences, wasting time with you reviewing product. But I can edit it, mark it up, send it back to them. They can see my comments. They can edit it, mark it back. Yeah. I, I'm telling you, this is this is the ultimate in portability, and I can't tell you how many features this thing has in 39 seconds. But trust me. There's more that you can do in here than you can do in a Word document. It's incredible. Looks cool. I'll go with that, but I'll tell you what. They got the coolest swag on the floor. You and your chachi. Look, look at this. The Barrows Project is finally live. It's finally online. Right. They've got a database full of projects. And this is, this is seriously, we always talk about how to evaluate. I mean, we're out right. here evaluating stuff based on our, what we think about it, but we don't know so much about what happened in the manufacturing process, toxicity, environmental impact, right. the social community component, which you know I feel very strongly no, about. No, yeah, not you. Yeah, I know, right. social justice. So you go onto their website, it's a subscription site, but it's cheap, it's like 75 bucks a year, and it's probably the most, the best spent $75 you ever spend. Right. You can see a comparison of, like bat insulation here. I'm looking right. at all these different bat insulations and I can see very quickly how they rate compared to one right. another. And there's like, there's user toxicity, manufacturer toxicity, the material and, renew and renewable, renewable energy. energy. Yeah, and red is bad and green is good. Exactly, now they've only got four categories right now, but soon they're gonna be filled out. There's a, a whole bunch more that'll be coming, so this will be much the more The one cool thing is that the, the ones that are black means that the manufacturer is not transparent, which I love. And yeah. that's, yeah, I mean seriously, and this one over here, 
Uh, you can see in the value chart the way that it's that it's registered. So you don't need to know a whole lot about products. You can just see it. But even right. cooler, they have a whole catalog of the chemical components, the binders that go into it. So if you have a product that hasn't been rated, but you know it has a chemical you in it, you can look, and look in their database individual components, right. and learn all about what all the international agencies mm -hmm. have to say about its toxicity, impact on manufacturers, yeah. impact on end users. Right. Uh, seriously, and, and, this and you know, is so important. And you know what's great for you? That they haven't done the social and community impact, so you have something to look forward to. Oh, it's like Christmas. When they come out with this, I, so, I don't know what so I'm going to do with myself. I, I'm going to pick a wild guess. You're giving this an A+. Plus. I'm going to give this an A+. Triple plus. A+. Triple plus. This is the best thing I've ever seen. I'm, so, I'm happy for you. Thank you, man.